Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so that will be Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising. Monthly tarot reading October 2019. And bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And we can jump right into it. So the first card which stands for the topic of your month, Taurus, is going to be uh, the Five of Pentacles, followed by the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the month here. We do have the Queen of Wands. Then the third card, it points to toward the best possible approach toward the month or the things that you can go for throughout the month here. That will be the King of Swords or how you should react on all that, you know. Then we do have the lesson uh, that uh, it is there for you, that the month is going to teach you here. That will be the, the uh, Ten of Pentacles, the best possible approach here. It is the King of Swords. And then the last one, it is the helpful energies or the energies which are to support you throughout the months. That will be the Death card, right? So these five cards. Once again, we do have the Five of Pentacles, which is the topic followed by the next one which stands for the challenges here of the queen of wands then it is the um the actions taken from you i don't know how to name this position really it's it's like the beneficial acts that you can do throughout the month that is going to be the king of swords then afterwards is going to be the um, lesson that you need to learn of the Ten of Pentacles and the last one or the Ten of Pentacles also that position could be accepted to why this is happening, right? What is for you to um, once again to learn from all that Ten of Pentacles and the last one which is the um, energies that are to support you throughout the month that will be the Death card. So... Um, Five of Pentacles as a topic is going to be catalyzed or accompanied by the uh, King of Pentacles. So that month you are to be very conservative in a sense of that uh, you are to close yourself for unnecessary investments that you are to do. It's going to be like you are, go you are to be quite... Um, it's, the word is not frantic, it's more like cautious in regards to your investments of a time, of money especially, you know, of emotional commitments and so on and so forth. For the reason being is that you don't want to place yourself into a very, um, not misfortunate position, but let's say, um, what was the word here? Unsecure position to give your heart into someone that is going to abuse it you know to place your money in things that may not have a uh, how can i say it? uh are not going to have any returns from it the whole thing the whole month here is where you are going to stockpile most likely you know your means your assets as well and um 
uh, your savings if you want to say it that way and before you decide to go for any kind of venture to any kind of um, a, a ambitious endeavor first it does look like that you're going to very well do your research in regards to it you do you're going to do the research for um, toward the our potential suitor toward the new job most likely toward the project you know before you decide how exactly you are to face all that how much you are to invest into it how much emotions you are to show you know how much money you are to throw in and etc etc so this month it does look like the two Taurus are to be very very safe thanks to the catalytic card of the of the uh, king of pentacles because or if it, if it was only five of pentacles then uh, it's a, it's a little bit of a different interpretation but the elemental dignities here are showing us a different thing all right the formation was a passive supporters so you are gonna hold on extremely tight to what you have not willing to throw it away just because someone uh, is uh, giving you sweet talks or someone is presenting you with a, a good, um, let's say, how do, how do I point that? Um, someone is presenting you with a, a, a good opportunity without that opportunity to be supported with any kind of plan how the goal is to be achieved. Now, the next card, it is um, the challenges that you need to face throughout the month or that you are to face throughout the month and eventually, hopefully, overcome. We do have the Queen of Wands, uh, which is catalyzed here by the uh, Five of Swords. So this is the person who is to approach you that you are to feel um, or you are to have your reservations in regards. Now that person extremely ruthless, this is a, a very um, dangerous combination that we do have. First of all, it is a active friends. And this person, it's, it's, it has a cute business sense, all right? And it does have a, a profound understanding into your nature, meaning that they know how to manipulate you, all right? And uh, <clears throat> this month, however, regardless of their attempts to manipulate you, uh, it seems that you will still have those hunches that there is something wrong in it. And it's very important to follow your hunches here, all right? To follow your intuition. Should you make your investment, either emotional or material, or should you not make your investment? Because this person, Queen of Wands, it's uh, it's determined to, to, to win, all right? Whatever the win is all about. They, are, they, they don't care about the resources they have to waste. Do not care about how much... You you know are gonna be thrown in and only thing that they do care is at the end to um, to wave the banner of victory if you want to say it that way so you need to know that this person here is prepared to exceed any limits possible they are ready to cross any boundaries regardless of what that crossing is gonna cost them and the worst is that this crossing could cost you more than you know as well so <clears throat> At, uh, at this month, it's important that you do not allow anybody to cross your boundaries. You do not allow anybody to sweet to sweet talk you out of something or into something as well, which is going to be even more dangerous. And uh, you should be rather a bit closed. I don't know how to say it in English, but it's uh, it's like always have always take things with a, a grain of salt and always do your research. I'm talking about research. That is about the third card here. We do have the King of Swords, which is your approach toward the situation such a reason. And it is accompanied with the um, Ace of Wands. So the formation, it is a active friend once again, and uh, this formation, it urges you or how you should act upon this situation is first of all, make your thorough analysis because with the King of Swords, only through a thorough analysis, things or the way out of difficulties is going to be uh, is going to be revealed not to mention that you need to rely on your authority that you do have over situation and over people as well 
to uh, well simply to take the upper hand regardless of what uh, the endeavor is going to be all about also you need to know that you are simply better than you are made of all right made of in a sense of what that person queen of wands is is trying to make you look like so if that is for example a business endeavor you can definitely sign a better contract all right basically you can work yourself a better conditions into a a, a a job interview into a, a relationship attempt into anything that you are um kind of like um that you are thinking of investing your time your money or your efforts your emotions into it it is just you know you need to um uh, hold down your horses a little bit you know and think of what re in in reality this situation is all about or what is the real um, state of the situation because once again uh, you may be a bit um, misleaded throughout the month by the queen of wands you need to know very clever person all right they they, they are just um, how can i say they're just like that mean girl in um, uh, in the school they are like that guy that seems to have everything uh, that, that that seems to have everything you want and you are going to feel like it's a privilege to work with them or to be with them while that's not true it is how they operate it is how they intimidate people all right so you got to think better of you throughout uh, throughout this month and unless your uh, conditions are not met then you shouldn't throw anything in it all right and uh, one more thing I want to say about these couple of two cards here, because the Ace of Wands, it's, uh, it's present as a catalyst. Then there is a, a definitely gaining for enterprises that you can jump into throughout the month. All right. But once again, you have to very carefully think about what you are going to invest and how much you are going to pull out of it as a benefit when the whole thing develops so uh the lesson why this is happening we do have the ten of pentacles catalyzed by the two of cups oh my god all right so um first of all this is a lesson uh most likely of a true love yes that is the true love and the true love is not the butterflies at least according to tarot it's not the butterflies you are feeling into your stomach ten of pentacles it is the main card here which is the very the very core of your lesson and that is a lesson of trust if you cannot trust the queen of wands and no matter how much uh, potential you do have in between you two eventually this is gonna come to an end so first thing you need to find trust into the situation and into the person that is approaching you throughout the month Taurus then you need to be able to cooperate with them while you are maintaining your personal independence and lastly, uh, you need to feel that uh, your, uh, how do I say it, you know, your investments are worth it. And that is the lesson that you need to learn. This is uh, that you are to find that thing which all three conditions I just uh, counted, down, counted down are to be accomplished. And all comes to you to, uh, to basically throw yourself into it. But we are definitely here talking about cooperation. We're definitely talking about here that you are not going to be alone throughout the month. And all comes to that, you know, are you going to learn your lesson and not make any hasty... Um, hasty investments without negotiating the conditions right for yourself and uh, lastly what we do have it is the energies which are going to support you that is going to be the death card followed by or accompanied with uh, the uh, nine of swords so we do have a passive neutrals this combination it's um, as an energies it's that how do I say it? Well, let's say that you are, these energies will help you wrap your mind around the idea that there is nothing impossible, all right? Even though uh, many people may, 
let's say, encourage you or trying to convince you not to cooperate with the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is a challenge that you can overcome. It all comes to that to overcome the challenge being in a balanced cooperation with the Queen. So these energies are going to um, are going to make you more prone to think of that there is nothing impossible all comes to the conditions that you and that person are going to negotiate for each other either for career or either for business additionally to that these two cards as an energy supporting you are giving you the power to manipulate the consequences that are to arise after you know the endeavor is taken or after your actions so i an actions that usually would lead to a catastrophe you can definitely manipulate or i should say alter in a sense of that the circum that the that the um repercussions are going to be rather milder and disaster and, cat and catastrophe is to be um is to be avoided so you can speak up your mind without fearing that this is going to be the end of it, for example, of a relationship or, for example, of, of career as well. Uh, it seems that um, uh, you will be able to face the changing of the conditions and the change of the circumstances with a, a, a quite subtlety here and will be able to align very well with the newly arisen uh with the newly arisen situation okay and you are going to be very agile into adapting yourself to the cooperation with the queen of wands should you decide to cooperate with the queen of wands now the benefits of you cooperating with the queen of wands is a, a very lucrative business for example Example, exciting relationship and etc etc but you need to do that into a, a balanced fashion meaning that the uh, initial conditions that the Queen approaches you with are gonna be extremely in your disfavor and it's up to your mental strength agility and thorough analysis once again all right to make them so they work in your favor as in her favor too or in his favor too so that being said, Taurus, this was your monthly tarot reading for October 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And um, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.